Hi everyone, let us discuss this example. So in this example, we have a matrix space CAB with this norm infinity. So we have to prove that this matrix space is not a compact matrix space by showing the given open cover has no any finite subcover. Okay, when we say the matrix space is compact, if every open cover has a finite subcover, but in this example, we have to prove it is not compact by showing what? given open cover has no any finite subcover. So let us talk about what is a matrix space and what is a norm infinity. So CAB, C stands for continuous functions. Getting So CAB means set of all continuous functions which are defined on closed interval AB. So let me show in diagram. Okay. So suppose this is y axis we have and this one is x axis, right? Okay. So we have an interval a, b. So if you have any continuous function, if you have any continuous function f defined on closed interval a, b, then it is a member of that c, a, b. Getting? It is a member of c, a, b. So norm infinity is defined on that. It is a supremum. It, it gives the maximum value of mod f. Getting? So if you have a function like this, so you can easily see the maximum value of f is here. Suppose this value is 5. Then we can write here norm f infinity is 5. Is it clear? So we take the supremum of mod f. Mod f that means we do not consider the sign. Uh, let us discuss the another example. Suppose we have a function like this. Getting we have a function like this. Suppose okay in uh, about the x-axis the function has a maximum value suppose here 4 and here its minimum value is minus 5. Getting so what we do, we take the mod of f, that means 4, mod of 4 is 4, mod of minus 5 is 5. So that, that's why we say norm f infinity is 5. Is it clear? So what we do, we take the supremum of mod f of t. Okay, so that is nothing but the value of norm f infinity. So in this way, they are given a matrix space and the norm also. They are given a cover to us and we have to prove that it has no any finite subcover. Okay, so let me mention the thing. Uh, just a minute, let me remove this part. Okay, so what we have, let us write now. Okay. So we have, we have, uh, I will call it as script C, uh, that B, 0, comma N, N belongs to set of natural number, is an open cover, of CAB. Okay, it, it is an open cover of CAB. So let us try to understand those balls. Okay, balls with center O. O means O is not origin. Getting O is a constant function f of x is equal to 0. It's a 0 function. That means simply you can say the x axis and uh, its radius is n. Its radius is n. So let me tell you it will look like this. I'm drawing a rough sketch here. So you know that f of x is equal to 0. This is f of x that means simply we say y is equal to 0. So this is the equation of x axis. So its center is x axis. If you take b 0 1, so open ball with center 0 and radius 1, in that case we will have a patch like this. We will have a patch like this. Okay, such a, a strip we will have. Okay, of this length 1 and this distance is also 1. So when you talk about ball with center O or 0 and radius 2, in that case, we will have a, a shape like this, getting its distance is 2 and on this side also we have a distance 2. So obviously you can guess ball 0, 3. So we will have a shape like this. On this side also we should consider, now on this side also we should consider. So that means for ball uh, B, 0, 1, we will have a a horizontal strip like this and for b02 we will have a horizontal strip like this for 3 for 4 for 5 and so on so such infinite strip we have and they have given they have given what have they given uh, it is an open cover of cab okay so actually we need not to consider the complete strip so we have defined all these functions on closed interval ab so we can restrict all these strips on that closed interval ab right okay so such balls we have so yes let us go further so we have such balls and collection of balls such balls is a 
open cover you know that every open ball is an open cover so that's why it's a open uh, see, getting is set is open and obviously it covers the cab so that's why we call it as a open cover so they ha we have to prove that it has no any finite sub cover so let me mention clearly to prove that to prove that script c has no finite sub cover okay it has no finite sub cover so you know that in mathematics what we do when we want to prove anything normally we assume exactly opposite to that so here we have to prove it has no finite sub cover so we will assume it has finite sub cover okay so let us assume let if possible let if possible script c has finite sub cover so we are assuming that script c has finite sub cover so let us give some name to it so i will call it as uh, script c dash right so it will have finite number of elements finite number of balls so let me call them as b 0 and 1 getting b 0 and 2 and so on b 0 n k so this is a sub cover okay this is sub cover of script c we are calling it as script c dash so it is a sub cover that means it is also a cover so that's why it, it can cover that c a b so therefore we can write c a b is equal to union of b 0 and i i running from 1 to k let me write this 0 properly okay so it is also cover so that's why it can cover c get it oh, sorry i should write here yes okay so let me call it as equation number one okay let me call it as equation number one so yes we we have already seen that ball is nothing but we we are getting a uh, horizontal strip getting for radius one we have like this for radius two we have like this for radius three we have like this so in this case also for n1 n2 n3 different different strips we will have right so now what will i do i'm going to take the maximum value of n1 n2 and so on n case okay so let me write that thing here okay so where shall i write here let let n is equal to maximum of n1 what we have n1 n2 and so on nk so i'm taking the maximum value of all these natural numbers so now my claim okay so let me tell you what is my claim this thing i'm going to prove so my claim is union of all such balls with center 0 and radius n i i running from 1 to k is nothing but b 0 n this thing i'm going to prove okay so i'm going to prove this is nothing but b 0 n so see there is no more space to write make a screenshot of it then i will go further okay so now we will prove this one okay but before that we will try to understand the geometrical meaning of it and then we will go further then we will prove it mathematically getting so just now i told you that b 0 n 1 okay b 0 n 1 is a ball that means we have a strip on closer suppose this is a and this is b so we have a strip like this okay and what is this distance this is n 1 on this side also we have n1 right so if you consider b0 n2 so we will have another strip okay so the entire region we should consider between these two lines okay so such strips we have and for nk also b0 nk we will have a another strip okay another strip so the, let me draw dotted line so you can easily understand the entire region we should consider so here what we are doing whatever the values n1 n2 so this is n2 getting this is n2 this one is nk so such values we have and we are taking the maximum value capital n getting maximum value capital n so in this diagram in this particular diagram nk is the largest value so obviously n is nk so union of all these strips getting union of all these strips strips that means the complete region between these two lines okay so union of all these strip is nothing but this largest strip that is nothing but b0 n so this thing we have to prove actually geometrically it's obvious but mathematically we have to prove now okay so just a minute let me remove this diagram or uh, just to clear the concept i i have drawn okay so let us go further 
So mathematically, we have to prove that the union is equal to B0. And so that means simply we have to prove that two sets are equal. So what is technique to prove two sets are equal? The technique is very simple. First, we prove that one set is subset of second. Then we prove that second set is subset of first. I am going to do the same. So which one is obvious? What do you think which one is obvious? Clearly that B0N is a subset of this union since that ball is also a member. See capital N is nothing but one of this NI. Getting capital N is one of this NI. So that's why this ball is already present in this union. Getting? So clearly, clearly let me write clearly that B0N B zero n is subset of union i running from 1 to k b 0 n i let me call it as 2 so the first part was obvious this ball is a subset of this union so now the next task is to prove that union is subset of that ball okay it will take some time so i have to prove that the left hand side is subset of right hand side what will I do? I will take one element from this union and I will prove that it is in that ball also. So let us take one point let point point means a function here. Okay, since we have already considered that CAB set of all continuous functions on closed interval AB. So our point is also one function F union I running from 1 to K B 0 N I. So F is in union of all these balls, that means F lies in one of at least one of the ball, get it? So therefore, F belongs to some ball of uh, B0 NZ, I'm calling it as NZ. For some J belongs to one, uh, sorry, N1, just a minute, huh? one, two, yes, one, two, and so on, K. So it is one of it, I don't know, it is one of it. So you know that if any point lies inside a ball, that means distance of that point from the origin is less than its radius. So let me tell you here, suppose this is ball with center A, radius R. When can we say that point X lies inside a ball? If distance of that point from the center of ball is less than its radius, then we say it lies inside. If distance is greater than radius, then point lies outside. So here function f lies inside the ball. That means distance we calculate with the help of norm. Okay, so let me write here. Yes. So therefore, norm f minus singleton zero infinity less than its radius, which is n z. It is n z. But see, obviously that capital N is a maximum value of all these Ni, right? So therefore we can write norm F0 infinity less than Nj less than or equal to capital N, right? So let me remove this part equation number one since I want to uh, use this space to write. I hope you have noted this one. Okay, so let us go further. So you know that if a less than b, b less than or equal to c, so therefore norm f minus 0 infinity less than n. So I can use the same logic. See, if point lies in ball, then we write this inequality. So same type of inequality we got. So I can I convert in terms of ball again. So therefore f belongs to that ball center 0, but this time we have a radius capital N. So we started that F is a member of union and we proved it is in this ball. So therefore that union is a subset of this ball, get it? So therefore, therefore, therefore that union, let me write here, I running from one to K B zero N I, right? Which is subset of B zero N equation number or statement number three. So here in two, we say that ball is subset of union. Here we say that union is subset of ball. That means both of them are equal. So let me write here now. It is also not required. Okay. So in this way, we, uh, we are proving our claim. Huh? So it is also not required now. So let me remove. Okay. So let us use this space to write. So from, from, 2 and 3. So from 2 and 3, what can we write? That union I running from 1 to K B 0 N I is equal to that B 0 N. 
Get it? So let me call it as equation number four. So here, uh, using two and three, we got four. You remember the equation number one or the statement number one? In statement number one, we say it's union is equal to CAB. And in fourth, we say union is equal to balls. If you use both one and four, you can say the union is equal to so that CAB is equal to that ball. So from, from one and four, we can say that CAB is equal to a single ball with center zero radius N. Okay, so this is the important thing we have got. I'm calling it as star. So let us talk about one function f of uh, x. I'm defining a function f of x is equal to n plus 1. n is a nat fixed natural number. So I'm defining a function f of x is equal to n plus 1. n is a constant. 1 is also constant. It means it is a constant function. And we have already seen every constant function is continuous. So therefore, this is also continuous function. Okay. So let me mention for all x belongs to closed interval a, b. So implies f belongs to c, a, b. The reason is f is constant function. That's why f is continuous function. And if the function is continuous on closed interval a, b, we add it into this set. So f is also member of c, a, b. See, but but so let us find a uh, distance of f from 0 okay let us find so what is my f my definition of f is n plus 1 minus 0 getting so n plus 1 minus 0 n plus 1 there is no need to apply infinity its value will be n plus 1 so tell me it is greater than n or less than n obviously it is greater than n it is greater than n so distance of f from 0 is greater than n that means it does not belong to this ball. You are getting the point? If I will repeat the statement again. If you have, I'm logic, I'm using the same logic huh, here. So suppose we have a circle with center A radius R. If X is here, that means distance of X from A is greater than its radius, then it lies outside. And if distance of X from A is less than its radius, then it lies inside. So here we are getting distance of f from the origin is greater than its radius. So that's why that point f lies outside a ball. So that's why it does not belong to ball. Getting? So what we are saying here, that is more, more important. Okay, what we are saying that f is a member of CAB, but f is not member of ball. I will repeat, f is a member of CAB. That means here we, we, we have already got both of them are equal. But we got one function which is member of CAB, but which is not in ball. So we get a contradiction to star. This, this is contradiction to star. So why we are getting contradiction? Because basically our assumption is wrong. What was our assumption? We assume that that C script C has finite subcover. That is wrong. That means script C has no finite subcover. Okay, I'm going to mention all these things. Just make a screenshot of it, then we will go further. So therefore, our assumption is wrong. Okay, so therefore, what can we say? Let me conclude now. So therefore, script C has no finite subcover for C A B. Getting? No finite subcover. So if any matrix space has no finite for if any matrix space, we have an open cover which has no finite subcover, then we say it is not compact. Getting so let me mention. So therefore, C A B with norm infinity is not a compact matrix space. So in this way. We completed this example. Make a screenshot of it and we will stop. Thank you. See you in next time.